folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Farming Giant, the UIG game. And we're just going to jump right back in and try and figure out where we were. I think right about there. Perfect. <laughs> that shows up as such a tiny little green dot on that mini-map, I'll tell you. Not a good thing for old guys like me. The first thing I kind of want to do today is just pause this. As I realize, um, there were quite a few things we didn't really go over. All right. This up here, this gives you a detailed explanation of your workers. How many you have in total, how many you can have, how many of them are working, and how many of them are just lazing about wishing that you would give them work, and what you're paying per day to have the pleasure of their company. Of course, this gives you a breakdown of your detailed finances. Uh, what you pay for power, what you're paying for water, expenses, vehicles, incoming, outgoing, what your orders made you, what you lost, what you owe the bank, your loans, etc, etc. Which we'll get to. Well, hopefully we won't, but I'll show you where it is. Uh, time, simple enough. That's just game time. Uh, the date runs the game date. If you click the sun, you can bring up a little weather forecaster. And this shows us that we got, mm, well, a little bit of cloud, a little bit of rain coming up, and then another sunny day. And this, of course, as the seasons change, I mean, right now it is uh, showing that it's the 12th of May, so we should expect some reasonable weather. This is planting season for the farmer, right? I think. I don't know. It shows you what I know. Uh, this, of course, is your level. I did show you that. This shows your progress towards that, right? Um, which we don't actually have any of. Your achievements, and it'll show you what you have made. Now, everything you do uh, contributes, right? Like, a lot of this stuff I haven't gotten into, so it shows no numbers, right? But I do believe that this carries, yeah... See, sell X number of liters of milk on the market. Well, we don't have a dairy, so we didn't actually do that this game. It's carried over from my campaign. I'm starting to sell some milk. But it goes on and on. Selling, breeding, you know. I bred two of the six different types of animals. I got the achievement for three, etc., etc. Your produce, what you own, your trade levels. It's all kept track of and you get achievements, etc. So I showed you this one. This is your land tool. This allows you to buy land. Uh, this is your building tool. It brings up your buildings, storage buildings like silos, uh, right down to you can eventually have cold storage, which is nice. Uh, the different industries, mills, butchers, jam makers. Um, there is olive oil production, wine production. Um, oh, just biogas plant. It goes on and on. You know, there's your wine cellar, a jam factory, yeah, pretty neat. Stables is all of your animals, right? You've got pigs, chickens, um, what else do we end up getting into? Rabbits, that's right, right down from little tiny rabbit hutch, <laughs> all the way up. So there's horses as well, so sheep, so yeah, it's, uh, Pretty, pretty complex. And then, of course, basic is just main buildings. And then you get into things like water pumps, water towers. Um, water towers are nice. I don't yet have the capacity to buy one. But every time it rains, it'll store water. So you can put your buildings on this, and then you don't end up paying this, your water. Okay? So, uh, decorative stuff. Markers, if I have a farm here, and say another one between say Paris and Bern and I want to hop between them rather than look for them all over the map I can buy a marker drop it down and simply click on the marker symbol here so but uh, water pumps same thing they will pump directly out of um, your own property from the uh, the water table and if you put your buildings on your water pump instead of city water you won't pay for water you can do the same with electricity. They have solar panels, they have uh, wind turbines, etc. But those things, you got to be higher levels. So for now, our issue is that we have 22 cows 
and they're probably not very happy reason being they got nothing to eat so we will make a nice happy field for them but what we're going to do first is go to our garage and as I said if you click your buy button down there after you've clicked on the garage it'll bring up a list of vehicles you can buy this time around we are looking for a truck for grains so here we go a small truck for grains more saw they want 46.9 so let's see if we can get something for I don't know 32 nope so Leon's the cheapest 42 41.3 in Berlin oh there we go 38.7 Bratislava that's our best deal 38.7 oop are we gonna beat it not yet Avignon oh I had high hopes yeah so it looks like we're going to have a truck flown in from Bratislava perfect we will buy that nice now that we have said truck let's go back and click on our cow buyer what we want to do here we have some cows but we want to select our grain truck and then we want to select him to go bring something to us and what he's going to bring us is some grass to feed our cows and of course he's going to get it from the city indeed alrighty and I think we're right underneath here aren't we <laughs> ay, 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 ay. okay not a problem we'll get him to buy it right there so and then you just got to tell him how much so we are going to go 10,000 set ready set go and away he will go well he will when we take the game off pause so by the same token we don't want to keep buying grass now we could automate that and he would continuously bring 10,000 grass to this every time it needed it um, what we'd actually like to do I'm gonna fill it up this time and then if we were gonna be buying our grass we would get him to buy 5,000 they are smart enough to realize that you don't wait till it's completely out he'll buy 5,000 every time we run down 5,000 so we'd never have less than half of our stock full so but like I said we're not actually gonna end up doing that because we're gonna buy ourselves a field and plant some grass so how are we doing for money 350,000 now I could put it here but I want to keep some of our buildings together and we can put our field across the street so let's buy us a little bit of property shall we and we'll go here oh I almost forgot click the create tool so it can tell us where we actually can go I think from here to here to I'm going to do about, yeah, halfway, I think. Here. Sure. No. I want to do a better job. <laughs> what a fussy bugger, right? Eh? All right, so. Let's start here. Um, let's just get this a little bit square to that one that's what I want okay let's go to there let's go to here let's go to here what's that gonna cost us 89,000 alrighty we will buy that chunk of land now the next stage is a field and a field let's go to create we'll give you this kind of a weirdness so Again, if you click your shift key and then use your mouse wheel, you can line this up as it were. And drag it. A little better aligned. There we go. I think we're going to use 44,000. How about if we do the whole field? It's kind of an awkward shape, isn't it? Um, 
No, I guess that was not the last one I put down. Come on. Oh, right. Um, let's see here. Okay, now let's try dragging it. This way. This way. Yeah, I don't know why it does such an obtuse sort of thing. So I think we're just going to do maybe this much. And go long. Alright. Perfect. Right about there. Oh, that's useless, isn't it? I just don't, uh, don't know why it uh, has such a terrible shape to it compared to, I guess it's just my field is probably the terrible shape, isn't it? Yeah. That's probably more the case. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. And I think we're going to run our road right up beside it. So, let's create a road. Here to here. Good. And then from here, let's say to here to here. Good. All right. Now we have a field. Now if we do nothing to it, it will grow grass. As you can see, the pH balance is currently 6.7. That's a little high for crops. 83% uh, nutrient, that's pretty good, but a little low on humidity. So, we click it, we can put it on the city water. There we go. And we will put it on right now. Now we're spending money on water, I'll tell you. So, what we have to do at this point is go back to our garage and think about what we're going to do once this grass has grown. So, first thing we're going to want to do is buy a tractor because we don't have a tractor. So, 104 grand, Bratislavia. 107 in Warsaw. Leo at 95. 7, good price. So, Leo looking like it. 97, 95. No, oops. <laughs> yeah, come on. At least nothing changes when you do that. Bratislavia, no, still Lyon. Still Lyon. I'd like to see it under the 100 mark. Ooh, Vienna. We might be buying a tractor from Vienna. 90 grand even. Yep, it looks like it. Yep. Let's buy ourselves a tractor, shall we? Perfect. Now well, we're also going to need to buy just to start with a grass harvester they're not cheap 48,000 in Vienna let's see if we can find a better deal 45.0 in Warsaw it's best deal Oop, 40 in Paris known for its farm equipment uh, 42 etc I'm sorry if this part's really kind of dull and boring folks but Believe it or not, your money is so far from unlimited, especially right at the beginning, that if you can save a few bucks, and yeah, I realize uh, after watching my last video that uh, we were doing twenty to 30000 in savings on that one thing that I was talking, ten to 20000 So yeah, there's a lot of money to be made. Um, Okay, I still haven't unpaused this if you're wondering why nothing's happening at all, really. So I suppose I could put this back on play, at least send that truckle. There he goes, off to get the grain. Okay, now let's click back on this field and let's set it up. 
because it's only going to be grass at this point the only thing we really want to do is select our tractor and as an extension we're going to select the grass harvester Ooh, no resources available we can't really go any further until we actually have some grass in the field so and as you can see so far there's nothing growing grass will grow reasonably well under almost all conditions everything else you have to adjust pH, you have to adjust uh, nutrient, you have to keep the right moisture levels, etc, etc. So keep that in mind. Crops are not easy. All right. Okay, now we just need that truck to come back. So let's uh, zippy-doo time just a tiny bit here. Let's see if we can't get him to come back. I sure hope I've sent him to the right place. It's right here. Market Station North. I know there's not enough food. I did send a boy out. Um, boy, I hope I sent him to the right place. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys are hungry. You just had a big poop. Now you're getting nothing back. Huh. I don't know, there's no way to check. I think I sent him to Market Station South, which could really suck, because that's like, way down here. So yeah. How much do you want to bet that's him right there? <laughs> Wherever he is, he's in a hurry. No, somebody going to another city. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hope he gets home soon. You really don't want to make a mistake like that because my poor cows. This is really setting me behind. There we go. Thank you. Don't ever do that again. Here now our cows will eat and you'll see that they will go up a lot quicker. So... And it's just hammering out, so we can probably... What's the humidity? No, we'll leave that on. Now, let's... Uh, okay. Let's go in here. <laughs> yeah. And let's get rid of that one. Market Station North is actually where we want to be sending these people. Yeah. So, but at any rate, we uh, don't want to be sending them there anyway, so. But what we do want is a barn, because we can store quite a bit in a barn. Okay, garage, water pump, um, oh, storage, of course, a barn. Small barn, $162,000, we don't have enough, so we won't be doing the barn. <laughs> hmm, yeah. So what we're going to do, until that grass stuff is completely settled, is we are going to arrange for this grain truck from grass, a city, market station north, one, two, three, four, five, set. And we're going to automate that for the moment. Okay. Oh no, he just took 5,000 from here. Oh. I didn't look at that very closely, did I? Dumb. Oh yeah, from. <laughs> Too stupid ass. Well, as soon as he gets back. See, he brought it back. <laughs> okay, now every time this gets down to 5,000, he will go and get some. So you can see we're now up to a whole 46 cows. So, wow, quite the effect when you zoom in and out when it's raining, eh? <laughs> Neat. Alright, what we really need to do is get our money up. Because we're going to want to put a barn and a butcher in here pretty quick. So, how's our grass doing? I'm getting there. 51% grown. Let's go a little quicker now. 
Those cows are up to 48 from our original 15. Nice, very nice. And as you can see, our grass is filling in at a pretty good rate now. So, the humidity is going, or the uh, pH is going up though, not down. I don't really like that. Because then if we do decide to throw a crop in, it's not going to do particularly well. Alright, 72 cows. So, something else I wanted to show you guys is what you do to actually make some good money here. Uh, resources. Okay, machine catalog. I didn't show you this either. This shows you every machine available in the game. You can't actually, right? So, and their pricings, right? So there you go, of your vehicles and your extensions. So nice. Then you have your resources, and it shows you what you got and what you can have, right? Now we're going to ignore the milk cows and the pigs for now. I could get these, but normally at the start of a game you wouldn't be able to. Meat cows would be the only animal you could get at this point in the game. And you can see we've got 72, and here's what they're currently selling in Warsaw. 650 bucks a cow. Right? Animal products. Well, we don't have any yet because we don't have any way to get animal products. Plants. All we got is some grass. Right, plant products, nothing, field resources, and again, nothing. But that's something that we are going to do here pretty quick. In fact, um, I don't need to be stopped at the moment now. So orders, that's how you make money. So let's have a look. Our nearest neighbor is actually Market Station North. But besides Market Station North, we have... Berlin, I guess, is the next closest. So, if we go here and we want available orders, Berlin, that way we don't have to spend a million bucks on gas, right? And all we have that we could actually sell right now would be meat cows. So, let's go down here to meat cows. Meat cows. All right. This shows you all of the available orders for meat cows in Berlin. Like here's one for only 90 cows, but I'd need to get it there in uh, just over two weeks. Could I get them 90 cows in just over two weeks? Well, I probably could, right? So I could click accept, and then I now have a contract to ship cows to them. So. To do a contract, we click on where the cows are, right? We click that we're going to want to use a vehicle to do this contract, a truck for animals specifically. And we want to come from the butcher uh, with some meat cows to, and now you can pick our contract. And it shows here just what we picked, which was this contract, so we'll select that. And then the number. Well, our truck can carry 15. There we go. So we'll set that as a number. But we're not going to send them yet. All right. I don't like to start to part with cows until we have over 100. Because at the over 100 rate, it only takes them one day to go back up to max. Okay. So at the current time, we don't. So let's just give that a couple of minutes. We're only at 72 cows. So how's our grass field doing? Lovely. And we did automate that. Oh no, because we don't know how much, right? So we have to wait till the first time that gets full. So let's get it full, shall we? Let's go up to double speed. And that should fairly quickly. There we go. It's working on its last row. All right. And any moment, we should get a little thing coming up telling us that our grass field harvest is ready. 99%? Yeah, we didn't get much this time. But I think the pH is a little high even for grass, so... We will get to how to uh, adjust that and deal with it. 
Oh, this is taking forever. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see, we only got 39% because the uh, grass likes a pH of 5, 0 to 7, 0. Currently, our pH was oh, 6, 7, so the very high end. Right. But now, we can go back to this, open this up, and get on with here, right? Grass. Yes, we want it to pick up grass. We want it to take it to one of our own buildings. In this case, the cow bar. And how much? Well, the max. And when do we want it to do it? Every single time the field comes ripe. So we set it to automatic. And he should be go do that. There he goes. So, that's going to make our cows happy. We have three or three workers in there, so that's going well. We could probably stand hiring another worker for there. So let's go to our house. Let's hire... Oh, let's grab our last three workers. See, it says we now have three idle. I'm going to put one more in there. And I'm going to go back to our house for a moment. Uh, actually, no. We need to buy a vehicle. So we do, oddly enough. What we're going to buy this time is a little van. Because we have to do something. $23,000. Oh, here we go, a little one. Eighteen grand. That still seems like a lot. So, 19 in Warsaw. 23. Yeah, so far, 18.3 in Paris is looking not that bad. Bern, 19. Hmm. Braslavia, 22. Wow. Who would have thought Paris would be the place to buy trucks? Berlin, there we go, 18.8. Vienna, not so good. Avignon, not so good. Wow. Man. I don't think we paid much more than that for our big truck, did we? So, what did we have? Paris, eh? 18.3. Okay. The reason we want that is now we got to go here. Now if we look here, let's pick our van, shall we? Alright, now we want it to go to this house with what? Well, we have fertilizer, lime, herbicide, and insecticide. Uh, herbicide, insecticide, we're not going to worry about for the moment. Fertilizer, we want him to get it from the city. Market Station North, and Set Max. We want him to do that every single time he's out. Oh, he's already on a task. That would be the one we just set up. So, there we go. How's our cows doing? Still only 72, because this is still only on that amount. Now, he should be able to fit all of that in here. Here we go, 9,420, and away he goes. And this will regrow some grass for us. Hopefully a lot better once we get our van buddy here with his goods. So the other one we want to set up for this house is, again, the van. Uh-huh. And we want him from there to get us agricultural lime from the city, Marcus Station North. And the maximum amount. And we want him to do that every time we don't have the maximum amount in stock. There we go. There we go. Alright, and he's back. So now, you can see that down here under resources or storage in that building, we have full agricultural line and full fertilizer. Well, what does that do for us? One brings pH up, one brings pH down. That simple. So, um, and for some reason now my head goes blank as to which I want to use. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let's check out resources, shall we? Here we go. Why does that not tell me? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Okay, the pH is high. I'm pretty sure I want to put lime on it. 
Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I think what I actually... Oops, sorry about that, my phone rang. That wasn't a good thing. Alright, I suppose we should uh, make sure to send off some cows on that order. And back to this grass field. Okay. Click on the house. No, oh, sorry, we want to actually click on the field this time. Ah, I know what we don't have. We don't have a way to apply that. That's why I couldn't figure this out. So, we go here. We need an extension called a sprayer. One of the spreaders. Where are we here? Sprayers. Cool. Sprayer small. 10k. Hey. In Paris, that's probably going to be our best bet. Let's buy that. Alright, now let's click on the field. Let's click on a tractor. The implement we want is a sprayer. And we want to select a field resource. So we need to drop the pH. So we're going to use some fertilizer. And it's quite high, right? Yeah. Uh, six, seven. We want to drop it quite a bit. So, uh, from the house, quantity we're going to try first, I think. Let's try 200 and go do that for me. Okay. Let's see how that works out. I only wanted to click one of those. There we go. And make sure that you're still doing that order. Nice. Doesn't take him very long to get back, so... Did he finish that? Yeah, we're down to 6.1. So we had 39% the last time was our yield on there. Let's see how it does at that. Because I believe, yeah, 5 to 7. We're at 6 1, we're right in the middle. That should be good. Now, make sure we send these cows off. To check the status of your order, you can go here, and you see we've delivered exactly half 45 of our 90 cows. 1705, yeah, we still got damn near two weeks to get the other cows there. So that'll work out just fine, and then we'll get a couple of dollars. Mm hmm. I don't know why my kitty's meowing at me, the silly booger. Yeah, we got enough. Let's send them again. I think you can do. Um, once your cows are producing effectively, well, I can't do it now until the truck is back. But once you have a full stock of cows, what I like to do, rather than having to keep a close, close eye, of course at this point, we don't have much else that we're doing, right? We're letting fields grow. Okay, now the van is back. So, uh, our cow thing is, if you set this to um, why won't it let me? So usually you can, uh, on your quantity, you can set it for pretty much what you want, whether the truck can take it or not, and it'll just make three runs. Like if I set this to 45, the truck should make three runs. But, okay. He's not doing that. He is settling the contract up, though. Yeah. We're up to 75. This should do it. And this, there we go. The order has been completed. And we got the money into our account. Yep. We just got paid $44,000 for that. And we can clear that order. And we can look for another one if we like. Meat cows in Berlin. Cumulative. I like cumulative. There are also um, other types of orders. There's immediate, which they don't actually have any in Berlin right now. And periodic. Um... But these ones are sort of, as far as I know, kind of an on-demand. i got to find out more about it. But I know these ones, these cumulative, 
they usually work out well. They pay fairly good. Um, so what else we got here we can pick up? 1806 right now. No. 39%. We didn't do much better, did we? So, I am going to send this guy back out here. Yeah. I'm going to make him put another 200, but not until uh, he's already busy, as we can see. So. And I also, I think, I can take, which one is it? This one off of automatic now. There we go. Because he's delivering straight to here. Okay, good. Now, we should be able to get him to, oh, not what I want. I want this field, and I want to send him out and do that again. Let's bring the pH down a little bit more. I want to get a little more grass off this field. So, so I do. And you? Well, we don't have any orders, do we? We didn't pick one up yet. So, what do we got? 117 due by 0707. Yep, we can do that one. Accept. Perfect. So, all we have to do, we already have one actually set up. Cow truck to take animals from the butcher, meat cows, to our new contract, which will be this one. And, of course, we'll... Huh. See, now it lets me set whatever quantity I want. Set. Right. Now if I click automatic, he'll do it three times. Right. Then I don't have to click it back off until the cow number goes down. So that'll take us down to 110 cows, 120 cows. And by the time he's there and back three times, this will have a chance to catch back up again. See? All right, now we're down to 149. So. And that brought that down to 5.8, eh? Well, you know what? <clears throat> hmm. That van had better be there getting some more. Yeah, I know it's not right for the plant. It is 5.8. needs to be 5.0. But what I don't know is why the van didn't go back. That was supposed to be automated. 274 to get both these items. Quantity is not set. Set max. Huh? 2 the house. Fertilizer. From market station. Set quantity. Why is it not letting me? Quantity is not set. The hell is going on here? Alright, a van, yeah. From here, we want the van. We want it to go to the house with uh, uh, Come on. I don't know why these won't allow me to. Okay. Agricultural lime. We want to go to the house. Agricultural lime from the city. Set quantity. Oh, God. Set max. Go. God, I'm such an idiot sometimes. Ah, oh, the van. And we want. Yes. Select resource. Fertilizer, yes. Say, so I just don't know why it didn't uh, bloody well do this automated as it was supposed to. Alright. Now. Sold lime, are oh, you? Like. 
All right, I figured out what the problem is. I was uh, actually slowed down to the point where the windows were open, but it wasn't catching the fact that my mouse was clicking over it. So it was resetting itself <laughs> continuously pretty much. So I had to stop for a second and reset for apps and get the rate back up. But now he's heading back in there. How are we doing on our little contract? Nice. Okay. Oh, and here he comes back. Grab some more. Cool. Alright. And there he goes. Perfect. See, by the time he restarts the 45, he's already back up to 135. So, it does work out alright. Well, this ought to bring the pH down a heck of a lot more. So, But, there we go. So now we are supplying our own food for our cows. Um, I showed you how to actually get contracts started, and as you can see, it's starting to pick our money up. So, when we finish this contract, this one's actually worth a little more money. 57000 Right. Um, we will eventually be buying, getting cumulative contracts that are worth half a million and more. When you get into a medium-sized cow buyer, if you put a second one in, then we can easily do ones that are looking for three or 4,000 cattle at a time. But I think next we might go for a butcher, so that we can sell the meat or the cows or the leather, depending on what's got the best market at the moment. So, But until then, folks, this has been Species 7. And I hope you enjoyed the videos. I love playing this game. And be good to each other. Ciao for now.